this is that B-Man, and I'm going to show you how that I end up taking all this process off. These are frames that uh, I've cut all the wax out, getting them ready for springtime, and this is my last step. Now, if you can see all this uh, propolis is on here, this is where they built propolis up between the frames like this. And just before I put new waxing for springtime, I scrape all this off. This is like gold. I'm going to get over here and see if you can get a close-up of this propolis. You see the propolis on the sides of the frames. Now that's the only place that I actually scrape it off. This is the number one. This is this here is the gold. Now this is just an old steak knife and I've took and dulled it up real good so you don't get any nicks in your frames. If you get a little nick in there you end up getting it under your fingernail. Now this is a propolis I've collected for a while here. I usually get about five or six of this, these uh, in a year and this propolis will bring sixty dollars a pound. I have people that's coming out of Atlanta people that make uh, tinctures, they use it for a lot of different things, lip balms, they put it in all kinds of stuff. And to think that I used to throw this stuff right on the ground years ago, step on it, it ends up getting into the carpet in the house. So when they started buying all this propolis, then I started saving it and I don't have to throw it all down on the ground. Now it's just a small little process to do here, but I, I save all this stuff up until I get a big pile. I usually do a couple hundred frames at a time, and I'm a big believer in putting new foundation in every single year. And this is the best place to get your propolis at, right there. And you can get them off the frame rest. I don't prefer the frame rest. This here is, is really good stuff smells good. The stuff you get off your frame rest you have to scrape so darn much you end up getting wood shavings in it and it doesn't really bring as good a, a price. But this propolis here is nice thick nice good pieces here and I usually just take and work out on my ta table saw here. Now you can see here's a nice little piece it's it's a good sixteenth of an inch wide, nice little chunks here, and uh, I use these peanut containers that they, they seal up pretty good. And uh, now right in here, if you get a bunch of good propolis in there, I'll take a little of that off there. But I concentrate right on these sides of these frames. You're going to have to clean them up anyhow, and it's just a matter of scraping your frames, collecting it. The market's out there. Let people know you've got propolis. Don't use chemical in your hive. It brings a lot better price than the people that's using chemical in there because people that start to do more natural, organic type stuff, they're making salves and things like that. They don't really want to have any chance of uh, putting chemical in their product. And there is a really good market right now, and it's growing more and more all the time for propolis. And uh, we're, we're doing a, a bee chat every Saturday night, 8 o'clock. And you can actually get in the bee chat if you go to Don's Bee Chat. Uh, at gmail.com and send a request there. You can get a link to uh, get in the chat and you can either talk, video uh, chat, or you can text, but if you have a problem in your particular hive and you want an answer and you want something that uh, you can use, it's a good place to go. And then we have fellow chatters in there from all over the place. We've had them from halfway around the world already. I don't know. All I'm doing is basically giving common sense information out there and uh, people jumping all over it. 
Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you some wax if I don't bump this camera. I'm out here in the garage. Now here's another product that you can sell. This is been sitting out in the garage, it's a little bit dusty, but you can see this is lemon yellow wax. And I don't uh, try to market this. I have enough people that just call me or stop by. This here I like to use for my own beehives, but I make it in smaller blocks like this. This is about three pounds. And I'm selling this right now, $20 a pound. And uh, we have people coming and picking this up. And the same thing, they're making lip balms, candles, whatever. Uh, be sure to watch us on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and like us. Appreciate you watching the Fat Bee Man.